days into the temporary use of the Kaduna International Airport, and it's a beehive of activities. While passengers land and some wait for their aircraft, security details could be seen in and around the airport, including man's best friend. A breakdown of airline shuttles show that only two airlines, Ethiopia and Arik Air, operate daily international flights. For other airlines, it's four to five times a day. In most cases, the flights are no more than 45. And um, some days, 30, but um, these few days has been about 45 or more per day. In spite of all these, the diversion of Abuja traffic to Kaduna is posing some logistic challenges to which these passengers struggle to adapt. I came in through the um, ticketing area, although it's not a very nice thing compared to what we have in Abuja, and there's no POS functioning here at the ticketing also. If you want to buy tickets, you have to pay cash. And with the cashless campaign going on in our society, I didn't expect to get that here. One wonders whether um, when all the other flights start coming in, whether the uh, facility is big enough to handle the volume. Reacting to the complaints, the airport manager says it's all work in progress. If you look to my right, you will see that UBA has brought in some machines and um, they've been telling us that they are going to install them. But apart from the uh, banks, uh, there is one, I think, easy money that came in yesterday. We've given them a space so that they can uh, use their POS, uh, POS machines. Uh, you know, passengers can use the POS machines uh, to transact uh, financial business. With slight movement to the Kaduna Airport and repairs at the Namde Azikiwe International Airport, Abuja, expected to last for six weeks. It's one week down, five more to go.